Hey Life Group Leaders, thanks for watching my little video that I'm making for you. This is one of a series of three videos that I'm making for you to help you out. See, over the next week or so, we're going to be really rolling out a lot of new details to our church about all the big changes that are coming this spring at the Orchard Church. And I really felt it was very important for me to communicate those details to you first before rolling them out to the whole church. So today, Jason and I are in the office and we're trying to figure out how to cram yet another meeting into our already busy, crazy schedule, into your already busy, crazy schedule. And we're looking at it saying, well, we know these people can't come on this night and those people can't come on that night and we gotta get these details out before Sunday, so how can we do it and respect everyone's time? And we thought the best way to do that might just be to put this in video format and to have some conversation back and forth online. We thought that might be respectful to you. It gives you the chance to you know, watch this on your tablet or your phone, in your easy chair at home, on your own time, instead of trying to cram another meeting into your busy schedule. So I hope this is helpful to you, and, uh, and I hope this will clear up and answer any details and questions that you may have as we get ready to take some big steps of the church. So, here we go with the first video. <laughs> are taking some bold steps at the Orchard Church this spring. Some huge, bold steps. At the beginning of March, we're introducing a brand new Sunday morning worship schedule. Brand new schedule. In fact, everybody is going to have the opportunity to pick a new worship hour because neither of our current services will exist starting next week. We're going to have an entirely new schedule. Everybody picks a new time and that's kind of crazy. The second thing at the end of March is that we're aiming to celebrate Easter the biggest way ever, with the biggest crowd ever, and the most logistics we've ever had to handle. It's gonna be a giant day. We're hoping for a thousand people. I hope you're inviting folks now, and I hope your group is praying and inviting folks now to Easter Sunday. Right behind that, we're gonna be launching our new campus the Orchard Church North Campus. It's gonna have a completely different feel, a completely different environment. It's gonna introduce entirely new concepts of what worship might be like in LJ on Sunday mornings. And that's huge also. And then right behind that, we're gonna wrap all this new change phase up with starting off our new financial planning resource for everybody involved in life groups at the Orchard Church. That's a lot of big, bold steps. And really, any one of these steps would be a showstopper for any other church, man. They would turn everything else on their calendar off so that they could get on top of any one of these things. But we feel like God's calling us to do all four of these right now. And we know we can't do it on our own. We know that we, we must rely on His power and His presence to be able to do it. And that's part of why I wanted to talk to you today, because we're doing all this in order to make the gospel relevant to our community. We're willing to do whatever we can do to try anything we can try in order to reach people that nobody else is reaching. That's really what we want to be doing here, and that's why we're going about all of this. And your role in this is absolutely vital. Absolutely vital. Because you guys literally have your fingers on the pulse of the church. The heartbeat of this church is you, because you are leading in our communities. You're leading in our life groups. You are building the body of Christ together, brick by brick, individual by individual. You are where it's really happening in our church, and what you do is amazing. I came across this incredible quote from Eugene Peterson just today. Eugene Peterson's the guy that came up with the message translation of the Bible, and here's what he says. Attention to the gospel message is always an act of community, never an exercise in private. A believing community is the context for the life of faith. You see that? A believing community is the context for the life of faith. In other words, it isn't enough just to preach the gospel. If you aren't living it out in community, you're just paying it lip service. So what you do is vitally important in the life of the Orchard Church. 
And so that's why I wanted you to have some real close and clear details about what's going on here in the next few months. On Sunday, we're going to be rolling out the next phase of our life groups to everybody, uh, the financial planning resource that we're going to be providing. And we're all very excited about it, but it will change the dynamics of the way your life group works for a couple of months. In fact, it may change the dynamics of your group for the rest of the life of your group. I just want to make sure we all know why we're doing this right now, why we're taking the time to stop and to get everybody on the same page financially. It's because we're taking to heart that key verse in Proverbs that says, the prudent man sees danger coming and takes refuge, but the simple man uh, goes on and suffers for it. We want to be prudent, and we can all agree that there may in fact be another big economic storm coming in our near future. And we want to, number one, take the chance to prepare our people to handle the storm. Somebody wise said that these economic crises don't create problems, they reveal problems. And all of us have financial problems lurking just beneath the surface. And we can live in denial about them when times are good, but when times get hard, those problems are revealed. And so we want to be able to provide for and to protect our body and enable them to be the light shining in the darkness when everybody else is suffering because of the economic consequences that may be coming. The second reason we think a byproduct of all this is because we believe that this will result in a church better positioned to respond to the call of God to do something big in the future. We believe a building is in our future, maybe some other big things, but we believe in preparing our hearts and our finances first before getting to that. And the third thing, and this is really important, I really believe that the financial planning resource that we do will be a huge growth engine for your life group. Yeah, I believe that it's really going to transform your group size-wise. You know the story. we got a lot of people that are attending the Orchard Church, but they haven't committed to group life yet. They aren't involved with your group or with my group at this time. And you know why. It's because it's intimidating. It's scary. It's, it's getting out of our comfort zone to find someone's living room late in the evening down a lonely dirt road with a bunch of people you don't know. It's scary. But I believe that this resource is going to be a magnet to get people into groups. And we're going to talk in the next video about how to leverage this for the benefit of the body of Christ and to grow your group. So it's really, really important for all of us. So that's kind of the overview of, of what we're talking about and where we're headed next. In the second video, I'm going to give all of the main details about our financial planning resource that we're going to be doing over 10 weeks. So I'll be talking about those details. And I'm going to answer the you know, main questions, the who, what, when, where, and how we're going to be doing that. That's video number two. In the third video, uh, I'm going to do the top 10 questions that you have about how we're doing all of this. Now, I'm probably going to answer most of your questions in the next video, the second one, but I'm preparing to answer your top 10 questions for the third one. I've already kind of anticipated what some of those are, got them written down right here in front of me, as a matter of fact. But you may have some questions that you think I may not be prepared to answer. That's great. If you want to ask that question, ask it. You can email me at stevedusek at orchardlj.com. Just shoot me an email and we'll have some conversation back and forth. We'll use email and we'll use this format with the video. And I hope it'll make everything clear and responsible to you. Thank you for all you do. And I'll see you in the next video over the next day or two. God bless.